It was an awkward feeling, like the one you have when you've lost your wallet, but without that inner pain as if someone has punched you in the stomach. To fall asleep on the train is one thing, but to jump out of the empty wagon onto an unknown station, just to find yourself practically in the middle of nowhere, that's a bit too much. Our hero looked around. A pretty eerie feeling came from this place. There's a lonely ticket booth down the hill and a dark path into the woods. Not the best place to get stranded. Good evening. Evening. I'm afraid I overslept on the train. Where am I exactly? Did you know? Nothing has changed. The place is called Bytown. Slight pun in the name. When is the next train back? City coming. Time do I have? I'm afraid the next train will not be here anytime soon. I don't see anything on my schedule. My best bet would be to wait for the morning and see what's what with a fresh view on things. Everyone benefits when the morning comes. What do you suggest? Just follow the path through the woods. There's an establishment. At this moment, I cannot share anything more with you, I'm afraid. Just don't take any shortcuts. A somewhat unpleasant shiver ran down his spine. This place was not right. That silhouette of a building. What do you call a feeling of a pain if you don't feel any? <clears throat> Good evening. Do I look like a tobacconist? Does it look like a damn tobacco stand? Or like a ballet dancer to me. Wise ass, I see. Well, put your wise ass down and order a drink. Fell asleep on the train. Been here. What is this place? Train? Well, just your regular small town, I guess. Apart from some oddballs. Oddballs? Stories, mostly. Superstitious gibberish. Where is the city from here? City? I don't know nothing about the city. Everywhere's the same, if you ask me. In the end, there's always shit. It's somewhat hard to believe. Mate, if you want to live here, you have to mind your business. And I intend to do that. And you should too. I have no idea where to go. What are my options? To buy a drink. Just go back to the station and ask the guy. There might be a place. Can't you just tell me now? No. As I said, I mind my own business. There's an inn. You can find a place to stay, but you have to ask about it at the station. That's it. Well, hope you'll still be there then. Don't make that face. And be careful with the numbers, lady. You know, just in case. Evening. What is it now? Second? Third time? Back so soon? Yes. The guy at the bar suggested to look you up again. Show me the way to an inn nearby. Get a room there. 
Did he now? Well, yes, you might. Just be sure not to take any uh, unnecessary turns. Take a left near the stumps just after the forest. Any turns there, huh? Just go straight down the path and don't look for adventures. You'll see the lights of the inn soon enough. Our hero noticed a path to the left he had not seen before. That's the way. A tall man, just standing there. Looks like all the weight of this world is on his shoulders. Mm -hmm. Are you all right? Do I know you? No, just passing by. Mind. Nothing good there. Despite dark windows, there's a feeling that this building is not empty. Far from it. The fence is broken. But not enough for a grown man to squeeze through it. Closed shut, but it could be open from the other side. A kid is playing an obviously very elaborate game involving three marbles. Hello. You... you are talking to me? Well, yes. How are you, kid? Sir, are you a stylist as well? My, I haven't talked to anyone forever. I came by train. Left on my stop. Uh, getting off the list. Well, there was a fire. We lived there with Mum and Da. I don't remember how I got out, but afterwards, nobody seemed to notice me. Just those creepy trash collectors. I stayed near the house for a week and then they came. I ran away. It's been a month now. How on earth did you survive all this time? take all I want and nobody notices. I sleep wherever I want. I can even push things over and people don't notice, but that's a bad thing to do. Uh, you mentioned something about a list? I really don't know what it means. I just heard, while running away, one of those trash men saying that I must be off the list. What about those trash collectors are you? Creepy? Uh, they moved funny and they had. They didn't have eyes. Instead, their eyes were drawn on. You know, like with chalk. At least I think it was like that. Quite a story you have there. Well, guess I'll see you later. Sir, maybe we can talk again later. Just a bit. I need to find my friend. Near the tracks, probably. But after that... As you wish, little man. The lake was as calm as this night. But something, as with everything else lately, felt off. Something there? It's been a long day. 
Nice boat. No use without the oars, though. What is this? A beautiful, semi-transparent woman's face appears in the air. Like there wasn't enough strangeness already. Are you not talking to me again? Oh, come on, don't be such a baby. I am right here and just for you. Ma'am? I am five years younger than you, so don't you dare to ma'am me. <laughs> you don't speak like that to other close friends, don't you? Who are you? I know you. Does he know me? <laughs> yes, you silly. Do good for my liking, I guess. Oh, what is this game you're playing? What is happening? Talk to me. That could happen. Oh, no, you do not. Hey, baby, do not walk away from me like that. Okay, guess this is the establishment up on that hill. A somewhat pleasing view of civilization, so to speak. Evening. Good evening. How's things here? Pretty quiet, I would say. Not that it's something unusual. And these are? Just pretty little marbles, I guess. There were seven of them, but now there's only three. Anywho. Got anything for sale? I can get you a beer, some whiskey, even milk, if that's your fancy. First one on the house. Glass of the strong one, please. Have we met? I don't think so. What will you be having? Okay, do you have a twin brother by any chance? I would say... No. Sir, could we change the subject? Uh, excuse me. What a view, don't you think? Come on, only friends here. No matter how you feel about the current stop, do enjoy the whole journey. I'm gonna get lost for a bit. Hoping to get a room here till the morning. <laughs> There's more to this place than you can imagine, my friend. Look. This view over the lake. Don't you think there's something odd there? Fell asleep on the train. Oh, so you met the ticket guy. <laughs> nice fellow, very helpful. The most human thing around here, if you ask me. Just looking for a room. Strange folks you got here. Yes! Yes! Friend. I'll tell you straight. You won't find a room here or anywhere else this evening. And since this is a fact, uh, I just, uh, just enjoy the night, man. Why so sure? Nothing can be certain, and most definitely no one can know everything. Hey, not saying I know it all. The night is long, but one thing is for certain. This establishment. Apart from Tom's little business there, is closed. Shut. Unavailable. I have a room there myself. No way to get in. 
The proprietor is away, see? With all the keys. Any suggestions what I should even could do? Well, there might be a way. Did you see that unfriendly place on the way here? That's where the boss of this fine establishment disappeared to. Since morning now. I guess that's my only option then. That you have there. Beautiful. Oh, this little ball. Found this peculiar thing on the ground, my man. Looks like there's a whole galaxy inside of it, doesn't it? Well, I'll be off then. Laters. Pretty That's quiet, things, yeah. I would say. Not that is something unusual. I was wondering if you have a room for rent here. Cannot say. The owner left in the morning and still hasn't been back. Weird, if you ask me. But that's not my business, really. Excuse me. Hello. So, how have you been? You know, I missed you. Not so good, really. At least you're strong enough to see it now. Hello. All that has been. I am too. If you just changed a little bit with self pity and. I've never pitied myself. Not one iota, you stupid log. Greg, it's not that I did not love you. I tried to. Me too. Me too. Yes, at one point, you know, you just... I am sorry. It's okay. Guess we're moving on. Later. Why not? Hello? Why not, man? Uh, why not what? Why not have an adventure for a change? What are you talking about? You know, some say that there's adventures where you can meet yourself. Wouldn't that be nice, eh? What do you mean by meeting yourself? Literally, or not. There's always a choice in these things. Cryptic. Lack of information usually doesn't incline someone to agree to something. True, true. At least not a smart person. But smarts are not the only thing, you know. Sometimes you have to let things flow. 
Uh, again, who are you? I am the heart and soul of this train, man. The one with the power to let someone in, or not. Okay, yes, that you have. Any other powers? Yes, you see, this is not your ordinary train. Even if it looks like the usual one you take every weekday after work. See any familiar faces? Well, when you say that, it did feel odd. What is this? You know that I take this train every day. That's one of my powers. I don't know everything by any means, but I sure do know things that matter. Okay. What's the adventure then? Otherwise, it's starting to sound like you want to marry me or tell me drugs. Sir, in the morning. Hey, sir. So, did you find your friend? Oh, he's here. We saw each other. I just wish he could come closer and I could touch him again. Is it a cat by any chance? Mm, he's so furry and beautiful, and he sees me just like you, sir. I have a favor to ask you, little man. For me? Um, I don't know. I need someone to open the gates of that house over there. Just take a couple of minutes. That's a spooky place. I don't know. All right, well, you can try to lure your friend out somehow. Oh, I tried, and I cannot offer him much. Once tried to get milk from one place, but it went bad so quickly. I'll see what I can do. You be careful there. I don't think it would change much if I wouldn't. Pretty high, but not risk it. I've been there, you know. There. I had a rope here, but it seems to be gone now. Trains do not come often here. One big wheat field there. Hmm. I think there's an old hag in the old house. I think my friend is from there. Didn't like it. 
Any ideas of how to safely get down there? That rope of mine should be somewhere. Not a whole lot of people come here. Right, well, anywho, that's it for now then. Got anything for sale? I can get you a beer, some whiskey, even milk, if that's your fancy. First one on the house. A little carton of milk, if you don't mind. Excuse me. Sir. Got some milk. Try to get him out that way. Oh boy, yes. Let's do that, sir. Milk is taken out and poured into a saucer-shaped crack in the concrete platform. After some time, a little kitten shows up, slowly stepping out of the bushes. He is as black as the blackest night and has big green eyes. Slowly, he walks up and drinks. Our hero and kid sit there in silence for a while, and just look at how the little cat drinks. Leaving the basin half empty, the cat comes up to the kid and gives him a little bump with his head, and then scurries off. You have a name for him? Oh, no. Sir, you know any good cat names? Fenris? Fenris? Yes, that's a good name. Alright, that's it for now then. And you never know which is better. A polite man who never says anything to you, or a rude one who tells you right off. You know, the Puritans used to say, this is a difficult problem sometimes. It would make you wonder whether it's really fair. But what if the Puritans... Drinks! No chatty chat. You happen to have a rope by any chance? You probably mean that old thing I found. Yes, take it.
A huge wheat field. While it does look clean and looked after, there is no sign of any sort of farming machinery. While the house looks old, it also has a vibe of being looked after. Is that a dog? Well, what do we have here? Hello, dear. Is that a dead dog hanging there? <laughs> what is dead, my dear? An empty jar of jelly? There is no value in that. Well, except for glass aficionados, of course. How many people keep their empty jars hanging around, though? They do. They come in different shapes and sizes, but they do. You're old enough yourself to know that, my dear. Cozy place you have here. Thank you. Thank you. And you are very welcome here, my son. Passing by, ma'am. Wandering. Everything is written. Where are you coming from, and most importantly, where are you heading? It's just a matter of knowing. Well, I don't know where I am, actually. Apart from the name. By town, yes. So many meanings can be enclosed in this name. This town has many owners, and all of them are playing their own game. Apart from regular folks, of course. Poor souls. Why poor souls? What else can you call people who spend their lives just being fodder? They cry, they suffer, they yearn, just to be another meal on someone else's plate. What I do know is that the place to rent a room is closed in a good eight hours and... Oh, the establishment. I would not bet on that one, dearie. But something tells me that it will be a long night for you, and there won't be much time for sleeping. Uh, so what are these many owners? Oh, politics, politics. The old ones are gone, but others came and set up shop. Then they went away, leaving their workers, if we can call them that. Without supervision, they became... Then there's others. And how could I call them? Locals. They don't know a thing about what's happening. Bless them. Well, I intend to find the proprietor. I should be in that dark house not far from the station. Oh? Didn't know his dealings were... expanded. There's a chance the poor soul paid the price for... wanting more. Interesting gossip, I'll give you that. I surely hope you were wrong, and I'll get a place to stay tonight, ma'am. If he is there... well, I've never been there myself. And I've never seen anyone returning from it as well. My boy, you'd better keep your wits about you there. I've seen many weird things that I'm actually wondering whether I'm awake or not. Oh, the world might be different, but you are certainly awake, son. Oh, and what is world? What is world? Oh, smarty pants. It can be as large as you make it. And you can enclose it in as small a thing as a marble. Yes. Marbles. Funny you mention them. Oh, do tell the tale, dearie.
Saw some at the bar. Kid I met had them. At the bar, eh? That Tom nonsense? He is a nonsense. Thank you for your time. Better be going. Hey, sir. I have a favor to ask you, little Some man. Me? I'm gonna open the gates of that house over there still. Well, you did help me with the cat. Yes, but quick. That's a nasty place. The fence is broken, but not enough for a grown man to squeeze through it. Dark and humid, tiled floor, somewhat slippery. Only a distant light at the end of a seemingly endless and empty corridor. Let's be quiet. of some sort, muffled like they're locked behind a thousand doors, like ones you cannot actually hear, just feel. A desk with piles and piles of paper folders, color-coded, stains from wine glasses on every sheet, and a person enclosed in the stench of a hundred armpits. Excuse me. Yes? Who are you? Uh, excuse me. I'm looking for the proprietor of the local establishment. Never mind that. I'm asking you again. Who are you? It's not easy to gather your thoughts when you see a woman with a glass of wine in one hand and a cigar in the other, who is dressed in nothing but the bikini and has decorated herself in obviously fake jewelry. My god, these dumb creatures. What are you doing here? How did you get in? Don't stare at me like that. What is your number? Marcus? Marcus! Hey, no funny business. That guy, at least he didn't use the blunt instrument to the head way of knocking one out.
pile of bodies, parts of them. Some are still moving, rotting the world. Locked, but these doors are used quite often. Filled with thick black sand, this room had nothing in it. Well, apart from a man tied to a chair in the middle. No ventilation. A table with a full glass of water and a tasty looking cheese and meat plate. A table with a full glass of water and a tasty looking cheese and meat plate. A man is asleep or unconscious. Sir? I did. Sir, are you all right? You're not one of them, man. Eh? Oh, you're not. <laughs> Help me. Knife should be a great asset now. Knots are not coming off easily, so let's not lose time. Some questions should be answered. I don't know if I should be surprised to see a human being here. All the same, the sounds here, eh? Good? Water, cold, thirsty. Having a party, I see. The table with water and food next to the tied up person looks particularly out of place. Bastard just put it there. Just to cause me extra pain, I suppose. Ah, war. How did you end up here? I, I was, uh, I know. I was called in about some property accounting issue. I have a hotel nearby. What is this place? The local tax authority. It looks like damn bandits and weirdos. Been here only to speak with the lady downstairs. Today... Today was quite a turn of events. And I did nothing wrong. The ties comes loose, and now the free man grabs the glass of water. What do we do? I'm getting my strength back a bit. I'm showing a piece of my mind to those bastards. Crazy, haven't you had enough? They play with me. I'll play with them. Come to my hotel afterwards. I'll sing you a damn victory song. I think you're up against unknown forces here. Not risk it. Give you that. But nobody ties me to a chair and goes unpunished for it, kid. Shovel and a hole in the wall. Pretty self explanatory. One would expect the room with some kind of furnace to be at least warm. Instead, an unpleasant whiff of cold touched the face and... soul? The mouth of the furnace is just a black void, breathing with chilling cold. The mouth of the furnace is just a black void, breathing with chilling cold. A pile of black sand coming here from the upper floors it seems what is it exactly this was not a sight any human being could expect to see melded into a wall three creatures stared right at him one had only the notion of a head peering out with an eye the second an almost fully formed face and a hand. 
the third, a human being from the waist up, with the rest simply disappearing into the wall, if there was anything else there at all. Closed. Closed. A table with a full glass of water and a tasty looking cheese and meat plate. Just to keep my own spirits up. Picking up on you. self-explanatory. Locked, but these doors are used quite often. Rats. Wonderful. The wall is cracked, but in no way could be used as an escape route, except for rats, and there is an abundance of those creatures here. Nice trail of cheese to lure the rat to that overgrown being over there. Worth a try. Now, just to get out of that oaf's way. in the pocket now to just get out of here. Uh, just... Have a way out. Let's go. Have your revenge later.
Now, let's get out of here. While perfectly visible, these men have a weird shimmer around them. It is like they balance between being solid and bodiless and transparent at the same time. Hide them, Glovebone. Why? Orders. Well used gravel road. A huge pipe reaching from the building all the way into a lake. A slight hiss coming from it fills the surroundings. Yes. Who's there? Who? You guys are not supposed to be outside, you know. Nice boat. And now, just beside it, there's also some oars. Nice boat. And now, just beside it, there's also some oars. Nice boat. And now, just beside it, there's also some oars. Good evening. I don't trust her. Hello there. Came to welcome us? Uh, yes, I suppose so. Nice to see you. We aren't open until tomorrow, though. I'm a fortune teller. I read cards pretty well. Would you like to be my warming up subject? Which? Sure, why not? Wonderful. Future it is. Yes. Future. She shuffles the cards and you cut them. First card you see is an ace of spades. Three cards follow below it. Your choice. Things will change according to that ace of yours. Nine of spades. You will feel that you are thrown out of your boat. Is it like that already? She puts down one new card. It's a joker. Then she proceeds with three cards below. Hmm. This... Come on, pick another one. Nine of hearts. Your agenda will be constantly tested. And you will have to think hard to move things in the right direction. Thoughts? Cryptic as expected. Uh, thank you. I, uh, I should go. Good day. Well, be sure to check the place once it's up. I would love to see you again. How's things here? Mm, pretty quiet, I would say. Not that it's something unusual. I was wondering if you have a room for rent here. Cannot say. The owner left in the morning and still hasn't been back. Weird, if you ask me. 
but that's not my business, really. Excuse me. Circus, huh? Yep. So, I see you're pretty beaten up. Your search has cost you a bit. Knew it was dangerous there. Hey, mate. That was purely your decision. I just said where the proprietor went. Is the proprietor here? Said he'll be back. So you found him, didn't you? Well done. And no, <laughs> he is not here. That place, what is it? Oh, I have only my theories. I haven't been there myself. And by the looks of you, I probably won't rush to do so. Still don't know what actually happens there. We're both taken hostage. Huh, I was wondering what happened. You've been away for hours. So, you both okay now? Totally glad to see you here alive and well then. <laughs> alive and well. No money. Nothing. Tired? A shower. It's your first time here. You're having a not so pleasant night. Oh man. Uh, okay. See, I've been around for a while and know some people. I might help you out for a uh, favor. A favor? Nothing big. In fact, I don't know what it will be yet. During my walkabouts, I met a guy. Very friendly. He rented out a room to me for a couple of days. Till I found this blasted place. <laughs> well, at least this one has a 24-7 bar. And that Tom guy, <laughs> he is hilarious. Apparently there are way more definitions of hilarious than... Ha! <laughs> yeah. This island gives more definitions of things. An island? Island? Oh boy, forgot you've been under a rock. <laughs> yes, we're on an island, all right. But the train, came by a train here. Have you heard of a thing called a bridge before? <laughs> Right. It's not getting easy. Uh, so what now? Right. The name's Yannick. Has his quirks, but a good guy. Makes damn good coffee. Okay. I need... Go rest badly. What do I do? Where do I go? Saw the boat right there, near the water? Just hop in it and row to that small island over there, with a tree. Um, yeah. And good luck. Good luck? <laughs> oh, just an expression, my friend. And come here in the morning. We'll treat you to a breakfast. Well, the wonderful night continues. I have no choice in it. <laughs> no, I guess you don't. Uh, till the morning, compadre.
nice boat. And now, just beside it, there's also some oars. Looks like a bridge for that train line. It oddly disappears into the mist. Or just ends? That cannot be. A button on a pole. Purpose and or origin unknown. This thing, it does shimmer, but then again, bump on the head is also pretty noticeable. Okay, let's get a room and have some rest, finally. Warm interior. Whenever you look, dark wood walls or matching furniture. Everything has seen better days, but is well taken care of. A slight mess, as is the house's outside. Documents. Look untouched for quite a while. Documents. Look untouched for quite a while. Shelves full with books and documents. Some kind of catalog takes up the lower shelves. The tags on them contain unknown symbols. A model of a sports car. Looks premium. Good evening. What a surprise. This place got popular lately. Another visitor. Welcome. Welcome. Aren't you Yannick by any chance? Tea? Would you like some? Are you Yannick? Yes, Grumpy Face. I am Yannick. What brings you here this late at night? Where do you have a room for rent over here? A place to stay. And yes, I did have a spare room. Had a tenant for a couple of weeks, but he decided to move elsewhere. And just today, can you imagine, just today, I rented that room out again. Tough luck, buddy. So, no chance of staying here? Not here, I'm afraid. I wish I could help you, but... Any other place you could suggest? Getting damn late. There's an establishment up on that hill over the lake, but you've been there already. That's where my previous tenant moved to. Apparently, they have a damn good coffee and, well, a bus station. Although, I highly doubt there will be any buses at this hour. But you can always wait. 
And to answer your possible question, I just cannot allow you to stay here willy-nilly. I got some rules. What do you do here, anyways? Sometimes I wonder myself. <laughs> Somehow connected with that concrete monstrosity outside? We call it an outpost. Don't know why, really. But yes, once in a couple of months people come, give me my paycheck, and do something there up on that hill. And I find it better not to ask any questions. What is this place, really? Lived here all my life. Like my father. Inherited this job from him as well, actually. I keep people off of that tower you surely noticed outside. Not that there's something interesting. Bloody thing doesn't even have a door. They have quite a setup here. Who's your tenant? Don't mind me asking. Oh, one very nice old lady. If it were a man, I would maybe suggest you two share the room tonight. But, as you can see, it's not a good idea under the circumstances. But you're quite a movie aficionado. Yes, sometimes you need something to hold on to. And I had these. It grew into a passion of mine. So, anyways, speaking of the establishment, the proprietor of that fine place, kind of trouble with it. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not going to gossip on this one. Let's just say he went into a venture with the wrong people, and now it seems it finally backfired. Judging by your story, he might be back by now. That old factory warehouse, where is it? Dark woods and dangers, I presume? At this moment? Yes. And by moment, I mean late evening. Uh, is this a hotel hotel? Or... Sometimes I wonder myself. <laughs> well, anyways, uh, I get to these places. See, the boat I came with, uh, Bit of an accident. Those boats and their accidents. Then you should take the bridge over and just follow the road. At one point, you can turn right and get to an establishment or go left to a bus station. This kitchen is a mess. There's pretty much everything here, but still seems pretty clean and looked after. Documents look untouched for quite a while. Be happy, my boy. I'll make sure of it. What will you name him? Happy. Painting supplies. You won't, son. Promise.
Sure, son. No question about it. So proud of you. Are you sure? is not fresh. No windows and the warmth coming from walls. A glowing sign appears within the branches of nearby roots. It pulsates and slightly shimmers. What are you? I'm looking for someone to arrange the train. Cool. What is this place? What does routing outpost do? Chance to get the train to come here? How do I do that? Who runs this place? slip of paper is hanging out. Upon closer inspection, it contained numbers and one of those signs on the wall. A gray slip of paper is hanging out. Upon closer inspection, it contained numbers and one of those signs on the wall. <laughs> 